I'll let Bill go with it. Okay. <laughs> Bill, no. Bill's. We're cleaning all the powder residue out of the actions on these M1s. If you don't, they'll bind up, and then you'll have a bunch of malfunctions at the funeral. Those are done. We do it once a month. If, if you don't, you wind up with trouble, and then you can't get them apart. They get all gummed up. They're a lot similar to the old the M14 that we had in Vietnam, just a little bit different. But it has to be done. These rifles are older than me, so. <laughs> you don't take much from the stock. Well, we keep them One of them. I'm going to have to shave, shave him down too. I'll reassemble this one here. I better get some glue in there. Yeah, you ain't cleaned that stock yet. We do have one weapon that's got live rounds in it, so. <laughs> I'm not going to I, 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 I can tell which one it would be is the one that's got a plug in the end. Or somebody's, somebody's going to be very lucky to fire that. Thing. Here's what you don't want to do. Just get your finger caught in that. Yeah. Why do we have to do this? You guys did it on the steel walls at the end. Yeah, that would be a... Backwards. Is it Mike? Yeah. Man! <laughs> Where's that roll? They had a thing on the Mythbusters called the Royal Air Glass and everything. They shot all different kinds of weapons at it. The M1 Durand with two inches of bulletproof glass. They never showed that episode. They never showed that <laughs> I'm talking with James there, and you were just telling me uh, they just voted you to commander? Yeah, I'm post commander. Very good. So you've only done it for a little bit? Uh, about a week. About a week. Do you want to tell me a little bit about the Guard and, and what they do and what that means to you? Well, the, uh, the origin, origin of the 21-gun salute is maritime. The British government uh, had the uh, nations that they were over. When they met them at sea, they had to fire a salute signifying that the British were, you know, in command. And uh, since then they had the uh, 
gun batteries on shore, mm -hmm. and they were three guns. And so they'd fire seven times to get 21. The cannons on, on the ground could fire more rounds than the ships, because it took longer to reload and everything. Gotcha. So that's where the 21 gun salute came from. Okay. It was, uh, the United States adopted it in August of 1875, so it's now the international salute that they do for the presidents, uh, royalty, um, ex-presidents, and that was the way it was originally set up. And then from, after that, they, they now, of course, they now use it for uh, uh, honors at uh, funerals for fallen vets, and that's where that originated. The 21 gun salute is the highest honor that the United, that the United States can. Uh, pay to their veterans. Very good. And it's great that you guys are here and can do that for us here in Fayette County. It's an honor. Yes. And you said you have 20 members? Uh, I think so right now. Close to 20 it? members. Okay. And, and most of them are in the late 70s and 80s. So, so we're getting the older. So we do want to um, encourage anybody that could um, come and join to get this growing. I mean, we it's an honor to have you guys here and, it's, and, and it is an honor for you guys to be able to do it for the fallen soldiers. So, um, what has it meant to you to, to be able to do this? Well, well when I first uh, got onto it, it was, uh, you know, it's very fulfilling and uh, um, emotional thing, you know, when you go out and it's an honor to do this for the fallen vets. Every vet that served and uh, honorably deserves a, uh, honor, honors at their funeral. Gotcha. And if, if nobody joins and we don't have anyone to do it, then they're buried without honors and that's that's a shame. Yes, yes. Well, we're glad that you're in charge, and uh, we wish you all the luck, and, and hopefully we can get some new blood. At 61, I'm the baby. <laughs> Come help us out. <laughs> Hi, I'm sitting here with Cecil, and he's part of the honor guard that we have that go around and um, help out and do things um, for funerals and cemeteries and stuff like that. You want to tell me a little bit about what you guys do? Uh, <clears throat> whenever a veteran dies, it's a request by the family if they want a ceremony from the honor guard. And uh, we get contacted by Buck Harris, which is commander. And uh, it's a volunteer, strictly volunteer. And uh, if you're busy that day, you can turn it down. And uh, we meet here at the Legion. We load our weapons and we go to the cemetery and wait for the, the family to come with, with the body. Um, we have uh, Ed Fisher, which does a little ceremony, does a prayer. Uh, he explains what the honor guard does. Then Buck will explain what's going to happen when we do the 21 gun salute and the taps. Honor uh guard. -huh. Bill Foody, which is commander of the guard. And, uh, Whenever the body is put above, you know, above the gravesite, uh -huh. you'll call everybody to attention, and then there'll be a, uh, three volleys of seven rifles. Which is a 21. Yes. Gotcha. And then we have a guy that does the taps. Okay. And then to add to that, they do a verse of Amazing Grace on the, on the trumpet, too. Oh, nice. Nice. Now, you guys, this is all volunteer, so you buy your own uniforms? They they buy the first set. If okay. you want another pair of pants or a shirt, you gotta buy it Purchase yourself. your own? Yes. And you have how many members? Uh, I think 20, but uh, it's usually the same ones show up for the, for the ceremony itself. Which is great. Yeah. Now, do you have any new recruits that come in, or is it hard to get new recruits? I've, I've been in the guard for 10 months. I'm the last one we have had come in. Okay. Yeah. So they're very far and few between. Yeah. yeah. So we want to encourage anyone out there who would like to be involved in this to, to please volunteer because that means a lot to our families who are military. And, and you guys do a great service. Um, not everyone has what we have. Yeah. It's an honor. Well, we want to thank you. It's an honor that you guys do this for us. Thank you. So these breakfasts that they have for the veterans, they get sponsored by outside groups. Uh, Some of them. Sometimes they do, uh, and this uh, this month and next month is sponsored by Southern High Buckeye Bikers. Uh, they're they're 
crew, they donated $500 for it to pay for the next two. I see. So sometimes you know, it's nice when the bikers say what you guys are doing are really good, or other groups say what you're doing is really good, and here's somebody to help out. Yeah, they're, they're, they're good with that stuff. Really now, good. the breakfast is very popular. We noticed you know, it's a well, very well attended. Um, it's kind of a uh, way for vets to get together and, and just uh, have some more camaraderie. Yes. yes. Uh, and we, we get a pretty good crowd. We'd like to have a lot more. Uh, we can get as many as we can in here. Now, any vet can come to the any breakfast. Vet, yes. Any vet. You don't have to be a member of the Legion, just any vet. Any vet, and that's on the uh, third Tuesday? Third Tuesday every month. Every month. So any veterans out there, if you're a vet and you want to come out for breakfast, uh, doesn't matter, Iraq, uh, Afghanistan, uh, any, any, war, any war, any conflict, any war, come on out and have veterans uh, breakfast at the American Legion Post 25. Hi, I'm with Cliff Puckert. How are you today, hon? I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. How long have you been a part of the Guard? Uh, eight years. Eight years. Well, seven years. Wow. And what has it meant to you to be a part of this Guard? I, I tell you, uh, the families, mm -hmm. when you see them, and a veteran you know, is one of us, and they deserve to be. So, so it's fulfilling for you to be a part of this. Yes. And how often do you guys have to meet? Pardon me? How often do you guys meet? Oh, every time there's a funeral that they want, they request an honor of Okay. And then we have meetings once a month. Okay. And how often do you have to clean the weapons? We clean them every month. You clean them every month. So once a month you guys meet and clean those. Right. Awesome. Right. So you don't have to clean them every time you shoot them? No. Uh, it, sometimes we go for a long time, period of time without, without firing. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. Gotcha. Now you guys stand out in the cold and the heat. I mean, is that as hard as it seems? Because I've been there and watched you guys in the cold, and it was hard for me to stand there and watch. And you guys were perfectly, I mean, just never moved. When, when it's cold and your hands start getting cold, yeah. it, it's, it's tough, but you, you know, do what you gotta do. Yes, and it was awesome to see that gun salute. I've never witnessed that before, and that was something I will never forget. And I'm sure that meant a lot. We've had comments. Well, I had comments the other day from I was out of out of some place, and he says, "Are you all business?" Well, I just do the honor guard. He said. Thank you for what you're still doing, yes. and thank you for what you have. Yes, because you already put in your service, right. but now you're still servicing the ones who, who need it as right. well. So that's a, a blessing for us that we have somebody or a group like you guys, because not everyone does, correct? No. no. And it's, it's hard to get people, you know. Right. They're, they're still working or they're... So it's more of the retired people who come and join. Yeah, and they... I don't know, just, just people just don't want to get involved, you know, with, and it takes some time to do this. Yes. You know, but actually, I've done a, you know, I don't want to miss. Right. I've changed doctor appointments or anything. Right, just to, to be there. Right. Well, we appreciate you volunteering, we appreciate your service, and thank you so much for being with us today. Okay, thank you. We're with Mr. Fisher today. How are you doing, hon? I'm doing fine, thank you. Um, can you tell me a little bit about what the Guard does and, and what it means to you to be a part of that? Well, <clears throat> I've been a member uh, of the uh, Fayette County Honor Guard. It used to be affiliated only with the American Legion itself. Uh, probably uh, almost uh, close to 30 years. Wow. Uh, and uh, of course, I've seen a lot of uh, funerals and seen just about everything that could happen in a funeral has happened. And, uh, but, uh, I have uh, found out that uh, through my service uh, in the Honor Guard, that it's one of the more rewarding things is, uh, that I've done as far as my military service and connection. And, and that connection allowed me to be a member of the Honor Guard because you have to have an honorable discharge uh, to belong to it. And that is not what uh, service organization you belong to. Anybody can belong as long as it's, they have an honorable discharge. Well, my service allowed me to work with uh, some of the finest men that uh, I've, I've had the occasion to work with over the years. The guys are dedicated, we're there, rain, snow, sleet, whatever the heat, and we, we, our service is all free. 
And it is, uh, it is a, not a gift to the deceased veteran. Uh, it's an honor, and it's something that the, something they earned. the deceased has yes. earned. Yes. And they're entitled to that, so uh, we do give them uh, a formal military burial. I think the most rewarding thing uh, for uh, being on the honor guard is the reaction from the families. Uh, most families uh, never witness a military funeral until it happens within their family itself. And uh, the comments that they make after the services I make a point to speak to the family uh, is really uh, overwhelming but really rewarding also. And, uh, they have nothing but positive comments to make for us. And, uh, I had one fellow that uh, had joined the uh, Honor Guard and uh, he only made it to two funerals and after two funerals he himself then became deceased. But he told me after walking off the second funeral, he said, you know Eddie, he said, there's something about this Honor Guard, he said that I feel so good after the funeral and after our service, I feel like we've really accomplished something. Yes. So that's what it's all about, really. And uh, it, it takes time. It's not hard work or anything. We charge nothing. The right. services are all free. And uh, it's one of the most uh, rewarding things that I've, that I've been able to do as a result of my service. In, in well, we're service. so blessed to have you guys here. Not, not everybody has what we have here in Fayette County, and you guys do a great job. Well, that's, that, that's exactly right, and we don't know how much longer we're going to be able to do it. Right. And uh, because, uh, you know, the Honor Guard is with itself, uh, we're aging. I think I'm the oldest member. I'm 86. <laughs> and uh, we're not replenishing our ranks, you know, as, uh, as we should. But, right. you know, it's a sign of the times so that right. people have other things to take care of. Everybody's busy and yes. they don't have the time for this. But. Uh, I think when our time is up, uh, it's going to be difficult to, to really have a military funeral as we furnish them here in Fayette gotcha. County. It's rather re a, unique, a unique situation, yes. really. Well, we want to um, encourage everyone who um, has had a um, honorable discharge to, to join these guys, to refurnish, uh, re refurnish uh, as we go yes. down the line. Yes. It's always yes. nice to get new blood in here, get them going, and then grow. It's, it's a shame that we're dwindling instead of growing. So yes. we do want to encourage everyone who could do that to volunteer and help out. You don't have to go to every single one. You only need uh, 13 to go to a funeral. Is that right? Yeah, 13. Well, 13. we have uh, uh, seven that do the firing. Uh -huh. and two two uh, veterans that hold the flag. And then I offer a prayer and the condolences. And uh, we have two people. Uh, seven, nine. So they have 20 members right now, so let's let's try and get that membership up. So if you would like to volunteer and help out, give them a call and, and join up. Yeah, I, I would encourage all the veterans to consider that. Yeah. Okay. What I do, I hold it back. Okay. Now when they were new, you could keep pressure on this right here. Mm -hmm. and would stop it until you pull your finger out. You go quick enough that you got your finger right out. Ooh. So okay. to keep that from happening, mm -hmm. I pull it back. Okay. Okay. <laughs> You've been doing that for a while, right? I've been I've been with him for two years, a little over two years. Uh, probably the, the best thing that ever happened. I'm not gonna mention any names. Okay. Uh, we was at a funeral, and Hearst pulled up, and we're standing at at the uh, oh, parade wrist. Uh -huh. We're waiting for them to bring out the coffin, and then we go to attention and salute. Well, we're standing there, we're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. Look over to the side like this, there's a whole bunch of people around the, the uh, vehicle itself. Turned out the guy got out, left the keys in, and it automatically locked, and the only person that could possibly open it was a guy in the, in the, in the casket. casket. That's not going to work. Forty-seven minutes we stood waiting. Wow, you guys stood that long. Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And then the highway patrolman, who was part of the family, took the antenna off the hearse and used it. And used it, bent it, and, oh my gosh. and pulled, finally got it open. Forty-seven minutes. Later. Oh my gosh. And now was they, it extremely hot or cold? Uh, very hot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and, and all the people were in behind. They, it was not like a football game. They all. Ah, yes, they cheered. <laughs> they cheered. Yes. 
Yeah. There's some crazy things that happen. At, I bet. At some now, I have a question about the guns. Are those original guns? Or yeah, the, yeah, yeah. They they're are older, original guns. They're older than I am. And how, how hard is it for you to get those guns? Well, well, the government's got them. These all belong to the government. They don't belong to the police. Okay, so, so they belong to the government. So the serial numbers right back there. Gotcha. They got every one of them. Okay, when so they done. give them to you to use. Right. Good. And then they also supply us with the cartridges. Yeah, we have to send a copy of all the weapons numbers and the makes. Okay. And the paperwork goes back I don't know how many times. And then they'll send us a crate of ammunition. Oh, wow. So they also supply the ammunition for right. you. Yeah. That's fantastic. Now, you say you've been with them for two years? Yeah, a little over two years. Awesome. And and what has it meant to you to do what you guys well, do? Well, I joined the American Legion because I had a chance of going, doing the honor guard. I wanted to do this long. Actually, I've been with the American Legion, or I've been with the yeah, American Legion uh, for four and a half years prior to coming here. Okay. I was with Washington, D.C. Oh, wow. Yeah, I've got nominated. So, anyway, I'll go into that. <laughs> <laughs> We're so proud of you. That's awesome. But anyway, uh, <laughs> we went ahead and uh, that's what the reason I do this. Very good. Is because uh, I get a chance to, to do give something back. Well, I've been watching you clean the guns. It looks like you know what you're doing. I know how to keep my fingers out of them. I'll tell you, <laughs> you were telling me about the pinch. Yeah. That doesn't look so, like it would be good. I'm trying to get the one in the yellow right there to do it. it he hasn't I don't done know. It yet. Uh, I think he's for 69 and a half years. And you want to keep, keep your keep digits? <laughs> so you have 13 guns. Is that what it is? Uh, actually, we have we take seven out. Okay. We have seven seven rifles that we we fired in seven times three 21 gotcha. guns. Gotcha. That's how you get the 21 gun mm -hmm. salute. Fantastic. Now, how long does it usually take you to to clean the guns? Uh, when we don't have somebody filming us, uh -huh. uh, probably about an hour and a half. <laughs> 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 so we're making it speed I'm up not, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, actually not. You're, we're we're passing. Yeah, yeah. We're no, slowing no, you down. No, no. You're about right. You're about right. <laughs> well, you guys look like you, you know what you're doing, and, and it's a, a great honor to come in here and talk to you guys because you guys do a great service, and, and we want to thank you for that because unfortunately we're dwindling down. So we're trying to recruit. So anybody that's interested in volunteering and being part of this great guard, um, get a hold of them. They would love to have you here. Yeah, we we froze enough. We've got <laughs> somebody else come out and do it. Yes, while. yes. You, you might want to talk to Bill there. He's been around since. Uh, well, when did Noah's Ark came? <laughs> That's been a long it's, time. It's been a long time. <laughs> and Bill, how long have you been doing this? Since about 2004, maybe. 2004. 2003. I can't remember for okay. sure. So have you always been a part of the guard for that long? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yep. So, yep. so you've seen a lot. Yep. Yeah, Michael he relieves me on commander when I can't be there. Gotcha. He's worried about messing up. I said, whatever you've done, I've already done it. There yeah, you go. True. Don't worry <laughs> about I found that out. <laughs> that's true. And you look like you know what you're doing as well, cleaning the guns. How long have you been cleaning them? Well, I started helping Neil Shirky do it. These are similar to the M14, and that was the weapon I carried in Vietnam. Okay. And uh, there's not a whole lot of difference in them except the cartridge. And you guys clean these once a month? Yeah. Every time we have a breakfast. Oh, okay. We, so you guys have a breakfast once a month as well? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Then we come on back here. Well, that's good. Get your bellies full and come back here and, and clean your guns. Have we ever had anything bad happen while we were cleaning guns? Yeah, I bled all over half of them. Ooh, morning. that's not good. Spring got it. Oh. Clip forward, went quack. Oh. <laughs> then a scream? <laughs> no. no, he didn't scream. No? <laughs> no, he didn't scream, but he sure did bleed. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, well, yeah, you got you got to watch what you're doing. I mean, you can't just jump into them. And if you don't know what you're doing, you got no business doing taking it. one apart. You know? Yes. Well, we want to make sure that they're put back together correctly, so... Right. When we got to use them, they work, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> See this little carry thread here? Uh huh. See that little thing right there? Uh -huh. There's only one pin that holds all that together, all that together, and there's a ton of parts to that. When it falls, <laughs> if you, that pin comes out, you got about half an hour. Wow, putting it back putting together. Put it back together. Wow. Yeah. Well, you guys have done it. I mean, it's been really neat to sit here and watch you clean it. You've done a really good job. We do want to thank you for what you've done and what you still do for us and uh, encourage people that can come and join yeah. you guys, get some new blood in here, and maybe let them stand in the cold for a while. <laughs> yeah, 
I don't miss too many of them. Now tell me what it means to you to do this. Well, we've got a good bunch of guys. You know, friendship. Mm -hmm. you, know. you get that camaraderie like yeah. you did in the service. Right? Once you've been there, yeah. you know, everybody's been around so they know what's going on. Yes. It's like, just about like being in the military. Yeah. Well, if you're missing that, Come on out, join the guys, and, and get some of that camaraderie that you used to have when you were in the service. And we want to thank you very much for all you guys do. And, and I've seen it, and it's awesome if you get a chance. You need to be there so you can see what these guys do for us. Turn it over, Mike. Why am I doing that? <laughs> and you can't get the cover on it. You know it's wrong. But when you get, couldn't get stock on it, I said, <laughs> you know exactly what it was. Yeah, I've already done it. Honor dog, big push. Watch pump. I step to the right. Two. Ready? Hey. Pump. Hey. Pump. Hey. Pump. I step to the left. Two. Project. Pump. 